So here I have my bag of clay. Now with the clay that you have, anything you're not using, always keep it in the plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. So I'm gonna take a little piece of clay out of my bag. I'm gonna take a little piece out. Just enough, something that kind of fits in the palm of your hand, okay? And so I'm gonna wrap the rest of this up. I'm gonna put it aside. And so some of you remember doing this with Mr. Todd last year. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make a little pinch pot. So we're gonna do something a little different with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands to make a nice little ball. And then I'm gonna take my thumb and I put my thumb all the way in, but not all the way to the other side so I make a hole. And here's my hole. And then I'm gonna do this with my fingers. This is the motion I'm gonna do with my fingers for my pinch pot. I'm gonna stick my thumb in and I'm going to make kind of like crab claws. And then I'm gonna use my other hand to turn it around. So I'm gonna go pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. And right now my thumb is still at the very bottom of my pot. And already, look, it's starting to form. And then I'm gonna keep on going until I get kind of a pot shape. So I'm still at the bottom. And then slowly I start to go a little bit higher. And then I can make it thinner and thinner. All the way around. And then I kind of push it down on my table to make the bottom flat. And you see there's some little cracks. This is where it starts to get dry. And so that's when I bring in my little bowl of water. I just need a little tiny bit of water on my fingers. And then I can use that to kind of smooth it around and smooth out all those cracks. And it starts to get nice and smooth. So I'm feeling pretty happy with my pinch pot right now. And that's feeling good for now, at least to show you guys the idea of what you do. And if you want to, you can kind of smooth out the sides then you have yourself a nice little pinch pot. You're gonna let this dry, but not all the way. You're gonna let it dry, um, maybe it takes about half of a day to dry. And you can just keep checking on it until it's nice and hard. Do you see how this is still wiggly? It's not ready yet. So I'm gonna wait till it's nice and hard, but it's still kind of cold. And that way I know it's time for me to do something called burnishing. So I'm gonna put this aside. I have another pot here for you that's a little bit harder. Do you see how it changes color? And so this pot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burnish it. Burnish it means when you are kind of shine the sides with something hard. So for this, you're gonna use a spoon. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way around, rubbing, 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 rubbing all the way around and you'll see that it starts to get really, really shiny. And it gets so shiny that when you're done, here's a little piece that I did. The edges are nice and shiny from burnishing it. So you just keep on doing it. And if it's a little dry, you can always put a little bit of water on it and burnish some more. can burnish it with your spoon, the back of your spoon. You see I'm holding it and then pushing down with my finger. And you just keep going all the way around until it's all nice and shiny. And then once it's all dry, you have this really beautiful shiny pot. And you can either uh, paint it with acrylics or go over it with Sharpies or just leave it as it is. I like to just leave it as it is. And another thing that you can do also is um, you can take a pencil you can even do some drawings on the side before it gets too dry. You can do some kind of shapes or drawings. Maybe you want to write your name on the side. Just play with it. There's so many different things you can do with a pinch pot. And once this is dry, we're not putting it in a kiln. So that means it, it probably won't be so good at holding water, but it'll be good for holding treasures, little treasures, or maybe a candle. It might make a great gift for someone. All right, I'll see you later. All right, there's our pinch pot for today.
I'd love to see what you guys did.